Okay guys, we find ourselves here on the channel Game On, where we just keep gaming on, playing some more Octopath Traveler 2. I'm lucky and I appreciate you guys watching and all the interest you've shown in these videos. Um, I just want to say thank you. I make these because I love playing video games. I just want to do something different with playing video games. I've played them for almost 30 years now. And they're one of my favorite things to do. I'm just taking a different spin on it by making these YouTube videos and Let's Plays and walkthroughs um, and seeing what I can add to the conversation. Been enjoying Octopath Traveler. I think Square Enix and Acquire Studios just hit it out of the park with this one. Great job, guys. Um, a couple minor complaints with it. We'll go over it in the review video at the end of this series. There will be a review, um, as well as some walkthroughs on some of the tougher sections and tougher bosses. But right now, we need to get out of this cave we found ourselves in, the Cave of the Moon and the Sun. My turn. I think we're just going to keep fleeing. Yeah, I'm not really interested in fighting all that much here. We've pretty much explored it. Um, and we're going to continue with Akari's main quest. I do like how you have to change it from night to day in some of these spots here to really see what's going on. Time I think that is really kill. cool. Bring it on! Flee! Dun, dun, dun. Speed up the game speed here just to get a faster chance to get out of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Prepare wake up. There we go. Notice third time's usually the charm. Cool. So that place was cool. We found it down here on the coast, and we actually had to go through this whole cave right here. We can't even see anything. Out of there, I thought that was interesting. My turn. These guys are such weak level. I'm not gonna bother wasting our time. Mm. I shall be your opponent. I did see a little boat launch down there. Right over to a little island with a treasure chest. If we don't, why don't we? An earring bracelet. What is that? Oh, accuracy. Okay. Cool, but I don't feel like that's very necessary for us right now. Okay, can't go that way. That's probably the only thing, right? Out of there, man. What Surprise to them. Do? Surprise them by fleeing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all. I shall be your opponent. My turn. You are beneath my time. Northern Conning Creek, Conning Creek, Hinoima. Hello, merchant. I really wish I could help that poor farmer, but I don't know the first thing about agriculture. Now that I think about it, I remember hearing something about an elderly grape ex expert over in Cropdale. Okay, well, hints for a side quest. Yeah, nothing I really want to steal. Cavern of the Moon and the Sun. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that place was about. If anybody knows, leave me a comment down below. Because there was definitely a puzzle at the end of it. We needed a quest item or something like that. Uh, I'm not really sure what it was for. Cleaning time. Well, they don't, don't need any help with any of that. It's definitely late game stuff because it was level 45. Okay, we don't, do we want to go Conning Creek? I guess. That's probably why we can't fast travel there is because we haven't found it yet. And now we just found it. I'll take Robbing all the town folks. 
Glass marble. I'll take it. What's this guy got for sale? That's why stealing in these RPGs is so important. For all sorts of reasons. You get all these items for <laughs> basically just having a skill. You don't cook anything tonight the way I'm robbing you. I'll take that. Excuse me. Preparing for the I'll last battle. That. Tavern, what's in here? Ooh, I don't know, it's got an upstairs section. Oh, okay. Cool. Don't worry. Yeah, not much here. Mage's wand. No. The iron shield. Yeah, nothing that's really knock your socks off and gotta have. I'll take I don't think any of that stuff's really very helpful, but we're stealing it all anyways. Bottle of befuddling dust. Haven't used that once yet. <laughs> cool. Can't get in there. The outskirts. It's on the outskirts. Side quest. Oh man. The apothecary said I'm very sick, you see. Pretty much he told me I need to be strong if I want to get better, but I can't stand that awful medicine. Everything hurts so much. My parents said there are things worth living for, but they aren't really me. The young girls wish. Do you need something? Huh, wonder what I can do to help her. To read the sequel of Adventures of an Apprentice Cleric, to eat a new Delft to crepe, and to meet Roland, floral designer. That was very helpful. Okay. So I suppose it's gonna be Roland, the floral designer. <laughs> yes, we did steal from that sick girl. Oh man, his house burned down out here. Weird. Okay, let's continue on to Koo. Kahoo! It's down here. The harbor. It's in its own section. Take all your stuff. Good thing there's no <laughs> weight limit in this game. <laughs> I'd be way over it. I need any sharp nuts. Oh yeah, wind soul stone for sure though. I'll take You guys are using those energizing pomegranates here at the end guys because they're for battle points and boost points. 
So, if I don't start using them, I'm just gonna go to waste. It'll make life a lot easier. Rainbow glass bottle. Shiny glass jar, perhaps it can be used for something. Hmm. Okay. Well, good thing we came down here because it's a quest item. All my best fish have been stolen again, that damn thief. Probably some sea creature that's coming out of the ocean to steal him, buddy. Cool. Anyways, we found a rainbow glass bottle. Who really knows what that's for? Leave a comment down below, because I sure as heck don't. We'll save the game, and we'll go continue on to two here. Play. Yeah, My turn. We're just running from all these guys because they're so under level, they're not gonna really give us much experience and don't really want to waste the time. Yep, the farmer and his grapes. Heard it all about you. Okay, let's go left here. What to do, what to do. Eastern Psy Sands. So we never even made it this far. I shall be your opponent. My turn. Yeah, these guys are super weak. Probably not gonna waste their time. Here goes. Out of home. Go, go, go. Yeah, whatever. All in a day's work. Yeah, not worth our time. We're just gonna flee. Keep on fleeing. Here I come. There I go. I like those soul stones. Those will come in handy. I shall be your opponent. Cleaning time. Here goes. Come and get me. Cleaning time. Cool character or cool creature designs. We're not gonna deal with them though. Not interested in that. Not when they're that low a level. Oh, this is cool though. Oh, somebody's special skill, Altar of the Thunderblade. Oh, is this for Hikari? This would be cool if it was. Chosen Warrior. Unto thee I grant new power. Yes, this is for Hikari. One of my X skills. <laughs> Ultimate stance. Extend the reach of your attack to all foes for three turns. That is cool. Because we could do that and then Brand's Blade and hit everybody with that at once. 
basically. Cool. <laughs> Let's play. My turn. <laughs> Violinist playing on this sound or this uh, score are fantastic. Don't know what orchestra this is, but great composition, great composing. No, we don't. No idea. Now it begins. Sure, I'll just to make you happy, I will. Thank you kindly. Hey, the customer. Prepare yourself. Go check out Hinoima and then we will head south to Ku. Sai. Hinoima is the region, excuse me. Sai is the name of the city. That's right, I had business here. No, we're not going to do Casties. We just want to continue with Akari's main story. Cool stuff, but nothing I really gotta have. The loot. <sighs> nope. Sorry, we're gonna try it again. <sighs> Three more times, huh? I mean. Try one more steel, and if not, nice, we got it. <laughs> the heck's up here? Huh? The emblem drawn on that card. He find some Santa Carmen. Is thing? that the crest of the legendary merchant Masood? <gasps> Masood. And come to think of it, he was supposed to hail from around these parts. Masood. The merchant who walked the entirety of both the eastern and western continents. Every merchant worth their salt would give a left kidney to read the chronicles he penned of his travels. The Mercantile Manuscript. To think I'd have the chance to meet him in a place like this. I need to take a gander at that Mercantile Manuscript. That's awesome. Sai route. It's locked. Who are you? 
Uh, howdy, you're the legendary merchant Masood, ain't you? Oh, there's something I'm dying to ask you. It's polite to introduce oneself before shouting questions at strangers, you know. Oh, pardon me. Particio, at your service. I'm a merchant. So? What does Particio the merchant want with a retired old man like me? Oh, I've heard stories about you ever since I was a chickadee. Uh, like that time you struck a deal with that horde of bandits, or when you saved that little kingdom in the west from famine. Oh yeah, and when you scuffled with the royal family? <laughs> that story stuck in my old noggin. I asked you what you wanted with me. A merchant should know how to get to the point. Don't waste people's time. Oh, yeah, right again. Uh, sorry, got carried away. I'll cut to the chase. Let me read that chronicle you penned. The Mercantile Manuscript. No. Leave. <sighs> Oof. Huh? Don't make me repeat myself. I have no obligation nor reason to let a nobody like you anywhere near it. Harsh, man. <sighs> nobody? Uh, now listen here, that's hurtful. Besides, even a nobody's got a nobody's pride. And if I may toot my own horn, I've got some merchant chops to my name. Oh, you do, do you? Then I'll give you a test. Prove your worth to me, oh nobody of supposed talent. This is what I'm talking about. You got yourself a deal, fella. Good. As a merchant, there's one treasure I value above all else. Gold? Bring it to me. Uh huh? If you profess to be a merchant, the answer should be obvious. Hmm. <laughs> of course, if you think this test unfair, you could just give... Interesting. I always stock whatever it is my customer's looking for. That's my merchant's creed. I promise, I'll figure out what your treasure is, fella, and bring it right here to you. I'd very much like to see you try. <laughs> cool. Some more late game action. The legendary Masood's treasure, huh? I'll need to start by looking for clues. Maybe someone around town knows a thing or two about it. Time to gather information. Cool, I'll write that one down for a side quest to do later, guys. Scent of Commerce. So many good items. I'll take.
Check out the dojo that we got here. <laughs> oh, this is where we get the Warrior Creed. The Warrior's Guild. Perfect. How he goes as the warrior. Yeah, I mean, we don't need to do grows on trees. We could change that with something else. Okay, let's do the latent power plus, because he has a good one. Gains one battle point at the start of battle. That's a cool one. That's a good one. Yeah, that, so he's pretty set up. I like his setup. Cool. I think that'll really benefit us, him being a warrior instead. <clears throat> the inventor skill was cool, but I think the warrior's gonna have a lot more. Where you can duel me. Am I gonna have to duel you? Well, we can't go through there, huh? Okay. We'll head south and then west. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna end the episode here. See you guys in the next one. The channel's Game On, where we keep on gaming on. I'm Lucky. This is our Let's Play of Octopath Traveler 2. We're going to head down here to Koo. See if we can get this last chapter in the story going. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.